Hey YouTube, this is Wally coming at you from Bridgeville, PA. Yeah, I got my hair down. I just took a shower and I had nothing to do this evening, so I thought I'd go out and try to get a video or two. Unfortunately, I'm running out of daylight, but I'm out here in Bridgeville and I am at the abandoned King's restaurant that is out here. I've been to this restaurant a few times. I thought it was pretty good. It was a sad thing to hear that it closed. My buddy Tom actually uh, reminded me about this place being abandoned. So let's go check it out. So here's the sign here, completely obliterated. Paint peeling. Pretty bad shape. the other side of it. A lot of weeds. A lot of weeds everywhere. As you can see, the building is for sale. Unfortunately, I don't know when this location closed up. I was actually really hungry and I wanted to get some dinner and uh, looks like that's not happening. Wanted to get some of that uh, cheesy uh, hash brown casserole that they're famous for. There's a bunny in the back of the parking lot there. Ran into the bushes. But this is King's. I always love this restaurant. I love them in general. There's another abandoned one up in Wexford, PA that I'm gonna try to get for you guys eventually next time I head up that way. naturally now let me pan out a little bit here for you guys so you guys get a better look at the side the parking lot is gigantic too by the way There's another King's in Heidelberg, PA, which is only just a few miles up the road from here and is just as old. And that one's operating. And their parking lot is less than half the size of this. Now, keep in mind, this is a busier one, which is strange. I don't know why it would close up because it was right off the exit of I-79 here in Bridgeville. I know it's pretty dark. Let me see if I get a flashlight, if they'll shine it up in there. Oh, yeah. It's like they literally just closed the doors and left. Everything is still intact. Even the clock is still saying the right time. I know you can't see it on the phone, but it is about 20 after 8, and that's what the clock says, too. It's unbelievable. <laughs> That's just fascinating. They literally just locked the doors and never came back. That's how it looks. Everything is intact. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Their breakfast is bomb. It's a shame to see this location close. You'd think with it being right off of the intersection here for I-79, it would be one that would stay open. That's why I can understand the parking lot being so large. The one in Heidelberg, you're not near any major highway. There's my squeaky sandals. Take a look in here. I don't know what that is. There's keys sitting there, right next to that white cloth. Boy, this flashlight really does wonders. <laughs> I've never tried this before, so that's really cool. And there's minimal glare. Boy, would I love to get inside of this place. Continuing on. Yeah, I learned that the squeaking from my sandals are from my feet. It's not actually from the sandal squeaking off the ground. It's just coming off my feet. Now, I'm confused as to why they ripped the King's logo off, but they left breakfast, lunch, and dinner up there. I mean, unless they want to try and keep it a restaurant, the uh, people that own the property, maybe they want to 
get potential buyers to see that it's a restaurant establishment and that if they leave that up, it might attract more customers to want to open up a location here. I see windows on the other side. I don't know if I'll be able to get over there though. I'll try. It's heavily wooded over there. Well, not wooded, but there's there's a lot of overgrown weeds. Sorry. Let's continue. There's another look at triangle through this window here. Yeah, like coffee makers, everything are still in there. Booths are still intact. There's some stuff laying around on that one. It just literally looks like one day they said, the heck with it, we're done. And we closed up and left. That's creepy, but cool. That's why I definitely want to check it out inside. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I always like their specials they had, too. Their seasonal specials. I go to King's on a regular basis. There, like I said, there's the one in Heidelberg. There was the one up in Wexford, but like I said at the beginning of the video, it just closed up, which sucks, because I was literally there last year, right after we went to Sorgal Orchards for the uh, pumpkin patch. And the fall fest that they have every uh, October and September. We hadn't been there this year because there's a couple of them that are closer to us. Locked. No deliveries between 12 and 1.30. I didn't hear anything. <laughs> there's a bread uh, cart here. Uh, yeah, you can see where they kept things on it. Pam spray. Ew, sauerkraut. No bueno. Beef gravy, turkey gravy. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> There's nothing on the bottom continue look at this door here nope well, that's the back side of the building there's this goofy little downstairs area I guess they have a basement I didn't know that I don't know if you can see anything in there probably not it's probably just like duct work holy shit <laughs> boy is it dirty but King's has a basement. I did not know that. Boy, am I glad I brought this flashlight now. <laughs> There's this chicken wire here, so I know it's hard to see a little bit. Let's check the door. Looks like somebody tried ripping it completely off. It is beat. Wow. No luck. Let's head over to the garbage area. My buddy, Nate, as we know him as uh, that Nate guy on YouTube, he's found some pretty cool things in trash receptacles and such, and I just did too. Check that out. <laughs> Now, I know this has been here a while because I'm pretty sure the daily, I'm pretty sure the daily post is at is two bucks now, or it's a buck fifty. Tribune review. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the Sunday post is at two fifty now, so I'll have to look into that. There's a couple of tables. Country crock. A lot of pallets. A lot of weeds too. 
and an oil drum, I guess for like the grease. And the wet floor sign, that's pretty cool. That's awesome though. I did not plan on finding anything remotely close to these. I wonder if it even opens, probably. <laughs> How about that? That one's turned around so I can't get that one open. Wow, is that neat. So I showed you the back of the building here. Very nice building. Very clean from what I could see, except for the basement. Now let's go to the dark side. This is where the other windows were. Um, maybe not. We'll try the door at least into the basement. Look like somebody tried. Holy shit. Alright guys, well, surprise, surprise. I am inside of King's because that bottom door opened up. Wow. A lot of spider webs that I keep stepping through. I want to make this quick, too, because there were people in a back parking lot, and I really don't feel like getting caught. Wow. Oh, man. How could you do that to old glory? My problem is I won't touch anything, so I, I want to take that and fold it up right. A lot of tile here, I guess for the ceiling. A lot of old chairs. Paint. Oh, dude. Oh, man. What a find. I don't know what that is, but that's really shiny. It's like glitter or something. Wow. There's a fridge. That is so cool. I mean, that just made this video completely worth coming out here for. And like I've said in my other videos where I got inside, I do not touch anything, I do not take anything, and I don't leave anything except footprints. Now, if I touch anything, it's just because I want to check it out, but then I put it right back the way I found it. Pennsylvania Dutch. Kings to go. Man. Wow. <laughs> I can't believe I just got inside. Dude, my luck, man. I don't know if it's just really good or if it's running out. <laughs> my problem is I don't know how you get upstairs. I don't know if you can get upstairs from inside of the basement here. I don't see a staircase that goes up to the upstairs portion of the restaurant. So I was in this room already. All right, guys, well, I'm going to head back outside. Unfortunately, there's no stairs that go to the upstairs portion of the restaurant. Power is completely off. I mean, completely off. Man, that would have been nice to go upstairs, man. I, I really wanted to do that, but this is a win. This is definitely a win. I will say that. The Basement of Kings. Yeah, I'm basically showing you all the same things over and over again. All right, well, I don't want to get caught, so I'm getting the hell out of here now. But that was really cool. Back outside. The door only opens up so far. I would walk up that way, but I'm wearing flip-flops, and that looks pretty heavily uh, covered with weeds, so I'm not going to. I'll go around to the front if I can. Check it out. 
I just wanted to show you guys this too. Just walking around. I'm still at the back of the building. Kings. Coconut. Now as you can see the Kings logo on that is different of that of the sign that is in the basement. That was actually the old logo and I know they changed it up like three, four times within the last several years. Kings had a new logo and then they got purchased by a new company and they changed it up again. And quite honestly, I hated the last change. Though the food's the same, the menu's pretty much the same. I liked it from the generation of that with the sign that you saw in the basement and before. I'm losing daylight here, so I'm gonna try to hurry this up. I don't know if I can get around to the other side or not. Squeaky, squeaky. We'll try. Good thing I got a flashlight. Ah, what the hell. Let's do it. Let's check it out back here. Shall we? That's pretty cool. Got a mill crate and clipboards. Looks like a lot of uh, paperwork too. That's all I'm really going to check out in here because it goes downhill and the windows get higher and I get shorter. So there's that. Well, how about that? Who would have thought I would have been able to just walk right inside of the basement of Kings? I certainly didn't. But just like the pay list, <laughs> I just get surprised. And I had to watch what I wanted to say because, man, there were a lot of uh, choice words I wanted to say but didn't keep this video family friendly because I'm just in shock when that happens. It's just amazing. I know I think I said the S word in there somewhere, but anyway, that was really cool. But now I'm going to go home. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to my channel for more content. And until next time, guys, take care. Talk to you later.